It started with a letter. <laughs> a letter that had been lost a long time. The Distant Hours begins with Edie Birchall, a young woman who's visiting her parents for lunch when a mysterious letter, lost for 50 years, drops through the mail slot. Edie's mother breaks down upon reading whom it's from, Juniper Blythe of Milderhurst Castle. And so a mystery is sparked. Edie determines to learn the truth about her mother's secret past and is drawn into the wartime world of the three Blythe sisters, elderly spinsters now and living together still in the crumbly castle in which they were born and raised by their father, Raymond Blythe, author of the children's gothic classic, The True History of the Mudmen. I was a third of the way into writing a different story when the sisters Blythe started whispering in my ear. I tried to ignore them, but they were insistent, and eventually I agreed to give them one week. I set aside my other project, temporarily, in the hopes that the sisters would that way be appeased, that I might silence them and convince them that they had to wait till next time. I wrote the first chapter of The Distant Hours, in which the lost letter arrives and Edie learns the name Juniper Blythe in a single night, and by the time I went to bed, I knew I wouldn't be returning to the other project. I couldn't. It was clear to me that this was the story I had to tell. That happens sometimes, and I've learned that it's best not to ask questions, rather just to hold on tight and follow the story where it leads. The Distant Hours was a labour of love. I wrote intensively, coming up for air occasionally before disappearing once more beneath the novel's surface. The characters are real and dear to me, and the story brought together a number of my favourite things. A crumbling castle, a family of sisters, a love of books and reading, the haunting of the present by the past, thwarted love, ghostly shivers, mystery, memory and secrets. No matter how much I adore writing though, no matter how much pleasure my stories bring me, it isn't until a book is read that it really starts to breathe. So let me take this opportunity to thank you, because by reading The Distant Hours, you will bring the characters, the past, Milderhurst Castle itself back to life. The Distant Hours, the new novel from best-selling author, Kate Morton.